So the inside corners are the side of the finger that are closest to the thumb. You can find them by figuring out which side fits comfortably. This is obviously less comfortable and useful than that. And then what you want to do is keeping the thumb soft so that it doesn't get bossy in later playing. Take the other hand and gently push against the top part of the finger above the dip. And you resist it isometrically. Trying to keep your thumb, you can see my thumb doing this, it's because this is part of my injury. I'm trying to figure out how to engage the side muscles of the fingers so that the joints don't collapse. So when I first started doing this, my pointer would do like this weird stuff. And that's why I'm saying that if you have double jointed children, you need to do both sides, right? You like to do it for a little couple seconds, but doing it consistently and strengthen it. This is my weakest one. It feels like really weird to do. Oh, but to finish my thought, if you have a double jointed child, you're strengthening the joints so that they hold themselves more stable and they're a little less over um, hypermobile. Hope that helps.